what is the kind of practice that connects you deeper with your own authenticity? What's that look like? Well, I have a very expansive definition of empathy. Mm. You know, it's not just listening nicely to people and I'm not, mm. I'm not uh, belittling that. That's a wonderful mm. thing. It is um, how we listen to life, the life in us, the life mm. around us, the life mm. in you. Um, and I even expand it, you know, to being, you know, a, a bit of a quantum field where, it, you know, expands beyond time. There's so many resources yeah. available to us besides, you know, the, what we generally think is available. And so a lot of my practices, um, one brings the whole body into the practice. You know, I watch my grandchildren and they're preverbal. First of all, there's so much, you know, that we learn and we're always communicating our history, Mm. whether we're aware of it or not. We have all these somatic strategies that happen. Some serve us, some don't. So one thing about working in partnerships or in groups is we can help each other see what we're doing. Um, so for, for example, if I was to ask you mm-hmm. just in a sentence, tell me something, if you would, that really, you know, that really matters to you, you know, something you would really stand for, stand up to and even fight for it just matters. What do you care about? Mm. Is that something, you know, what comes to, and imagine, imagine you're speaking to an audience. Mm-hmm. All right. Would you give that a try? No, nothing. No preamble. You're, yeah. you're there in front of the audience and you'd say, I'd like to tell you what I care about. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to tell you what I care about. I care about, um, let's just pull this up from deep inside. I care about connection. Yeah, I care about people being fully connected to each other, to the life around them, and to themselves, to themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Um, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. How did that feel? Did that feel like right on? What yeah, it I- feels. It feels right on. It feels, um, I feel vulnerable Mm -hmm. and open, right? Yeah. Yeah. Part of me wants to say, like, how do we translate in that to something less touchy feely? No, my question is this, because you want to speak with power, I presume. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing is more powerful. You know, if I sit here and tell you, nothing matters to me more than taking care of my children Mm -hmm. and how much I love my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. You know. When I speak that, there's a power to it. I know it. And it's not loud. It's not pushy. It's just plain powerful. Mm. So that's touchy feely, but it's Mm -hmm. it's real. And we, you know, what moves me moves others. When you listen to the life in yourself and you move from that place, it touches the life in others. That's how it works. There are things we do to cut our power. Because a lot of us learn that if we shine too much, that people won't like us or that we will get in trouble. If we use Mm. our voice too much, that we won't belong or not even some of us, a lot of us won't even feel safe. Yeah. That's in us. 